Hey, how's it going? Thomas Alex Norman here. And today you're going to be learning how to make sick videos for your Instagram. So I've literally just got off the plane. I'm currently here in Wrocław, Poland. And on the journey over here, I made a little edit for my Instagram that you saw at the beginning there. So if you're anything like me and you're scrolling through your phone and you're looking through amazing pictures of amazing lifestyles on Instagram and then suddenly one of them's a video and you see it, and you watch it and it kind of takes you into that world so much more than just photos do. It lends you that little 15 seconds where you just completely get captivated into that person's world. And that's kind of what I want to teach you how to do in this video here. So I've been making little edits for my Instagram for quite a while. There's some amazing people out there doing it. You should definitely check out a guy called Sam Evans Life. He is like the master of little Instagram edits, um, a big inspiration to myself. Um, guys like Sam Calder, obviously Jay Alvarez. There's heaps of people out there doing it. Um, a guy called Captain Potter as well. So go and check out their Instagrams there in the description below. But for now, I'm just gonna show you another one of my edits to kind of give you an idea about what this is all about and what you can do with Instagram videos. So the first thing you need to keep in mind is that obviously, Instagram videos are 15 seconds long. Rather than view that as a limitation and an annoyance, you can actually view it as something that can really help you get super creative with your videos. So within that 15 seconds, you can cram as much as you want into it, or you can make it like literally one shot long. It's completely up to you. But you really do want to say what you want to say within this time and find a way to communicate that within 15 seconds. And the next thing that leads me on to is shots. Now what I love to do is cram as many contrasting visuals into my Instagram edits as I can. So this involves getting loads of different shot types to kind of reflect what you're doing. So you can get high shots, you can get low shots, you can get time-lapse shots, you can get close-up shots, you can get wide shots, you can get action shots. And so having all of these different shot types is what's going to make your Instagram video super engaging because they contrast against each other. So even if you're doing something really simple, such as going on a walk or a hike, or maybe even like I showed you in the beginning, going through an airport, getting lots of different types of shots, point of view shots, for example, is going to make the video just pop. And this kind of transitions smoothly onto the next point, which is the editing. And the important point here is, if in doubt, tighten up. This is one of the main points that I say in all of my courses is with every edit, you just need to tighten up, tighten, 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 especially with Instagram. And I see a lot of videos that could be awesome if they just tightened everything up and made the shot slightly shorter, more snappy, more to the beat of the music. Um, that's the main thing you need to keep in mind when editing Instagram videos. In addition to all of these contrasting shots, within the edit, you can do some clever stuff like jump cuts, like add in some slow motion, add in some stabilization and tightening up your footage as well as layering in these techniques as well as having the contrasting shots, then you got some great Instagram videos. And of course, the one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is music. So the best thing about making Instagram videos is that you can use any music you want. I'm not quite sure why this is, but Instagram just does not care about copyright music. Um, I think it's because it's just 15 seconds. It's one of the best things about having a 15 second video. Go on SoundCloud, go on YouTube, Apple Music, just choose a track any track in the world you want to go with your video and just go crazy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some great tips out of it. Um, if you like the video, feel free to just give this a like, thumbs up or thumbs down if you hated it. Comment, let me know your thoughts and subscribe if you already haven't. So until next time, keep filming, speak soon. Have a good day.